DJ Dells, absolutely wonderful. Yeah. I'm an addict for sneakers. What up, sneaker addicts? I got a new package from Nike.com. And um, these are the True Blue Threes. A lot of people have been complaining about the quality. The pair I reviewed was pretty decent. I mean, if you watch the video, you can see, like, there's not, I don't see any issues with it. And no one really left comments saying they had any issues with it at all as far as the pair I was reviewing. And I'm not going to take away what other reviewers have said or people in general on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. So that's why I wanted to check out this fresh pair right here that I got over at Nike and see what the deal is. Because one thing for sure, there's been plenty of people that know what they're talking about that's been, you know, pointing out the elephant print being really bad. That's been like the one complaint about the elephant print being horrible. And the photos are crazy. I'm seeing like different cuts of elephant print on each shoe and you know, it's not from Joe Schmo, it's from people that actually like know their sneakers. So I'm a little bit like, wow, I'm, I'm curious to see what this is all about. This pair right here being that, you know, I've seen some pretty ugly photos. So hopefully, you know, wish me luck. <laughs> Everyone hit that thumbs up button for good luck. Hopefully, we can get some good luck here before I look at the shoe. The retail was super expensive. As you can see, 220 bucks, which is pretty ridiculous for a pair of Jordan 3s. I remember paying way less than that when they last retroed. So, check this out now. If you want to see like a full detailed review in comparison with the last time they retroed, I'll put one in the pop-up somewhere on the screen. Definitely check that out. This is just me, like a quality control video. I did that with the Maroons. And I'll probably do that with like other shoes that I think are really like awesome that came back out. Uh, see that? See right off the bat, I see something. Come on, man. You can't be serious. Like, you can't make this up. Like, I knew to do this video, as much as I love Jordans, like the shoes, at the end of the day, like, it's too predictable. Look at that. Look at the mouse was nibbling on the shoe. From the factory or something. Like, what is that right there? You see that? It's literally missing piece right there. Like, it was nibbled. A little rat was nibbling over seas while they were just marinating after being made or over where they store them in America. America! <laughs> Look at that, man. I mean, some people may say I'm overreacting. Let me know if I'm overreacting if it's not that serious, too. Like, it's okay if you think I'm overreacting. You know, I don't take offense to that. If you call me an asshole or something like that, I may not like that. But, you know, if you tell me I'm, I'm bugging because of what I'm complaining about, that's fine. Let me know if I'm bugging right now. But I don't think I'm bugging. I think a lot of people would be unhappy. I mean, let's see the other shoe. This is how it's supposed to look. Like, I don't understand. How is it missing that? Like, how is that gone? Like, I don't understand what happened over here. Like, what, what happened, man? Man, man, what happened over here, man? <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to see if there's anything else wrong with this shoe. I've seen some people, you know, they were complaining about the actual elephant print being higher on one than the other. I think you could kind of, it kind of looks like it a little bit. But I mean that, like I'm going to be wearing these. Well, I don't know if I'm going to wear these. I think I'm going to see what your opinions are. If it's really noticeable, that little nibble. If it's not, I'll probably just hit up Nike. I'm sure they'll give me a partial refund or something like that. I mean, I think this looks higher than here. Let me try to get straight up at it. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely higher than here. Or am I tripping? 
Let me know if I'm tripping. I mean, please. As I said, I don't get offended by, by that. Some people will say, oh, sorry, Devils, but I don't like this sneaker. I don't like that sneaker. I don't care if you don't like the sneaker. I'm just happy you're watching. I'm, I'm not here to convince people to like a damn sneaker. Shit. I just want you to watch my show, and that's it. That's all, folks. <laughs> I just, I think this one is higher than over here. But, you know, like something like that, it, for $220, that mistake shouldn't be. I mean, they should be perfect for $220. They should be perfect. Like, forget about it. Wow, beautiful. Seems like there's a little bit of an elephant in the room. How you doing? <laughs> Definitely seems um, something's off, like with the elephant print. They're having a bad elephant print year. Maybe that's why they took the elephant print off of um, the Cyber Mondays. Maybe that's why they said, okay, we're not going to put elephant print on the Cyber Mondays. Because we're having a little bit of an issue here with the elephant print. So we'll just scratch out the elephant print. And we'll see if we can get away with it on these. Maybe that's the case. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just being too damn picky. Regardless, I think these are awesome shoes besides that. I mean, I just feel like you should get what you pay for at the end of the day. You know? That's my whole thing. Like, I don't mind paying money. And I say this all the time. If you're going to make me pay a premium price, give me a premium shoe. That's all I want. You want to, you know, cut around the corners, then, you know, give me what I should be paying for, for a little cut around the corner. But if you want that premium money for a shoe that released a long, long time ago, then I don't know, man. Just showing you the back. Let me know if you see anything wrong over here. Definitely check out the video I did on the Maroon 6 quality control and I did one I think also on the the Aqua H. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do like a playlist and then I'll throw the playlist somewhere up there to make life easy for you. Cause I think some people will enjoy this quality control series. I by accidentally made this series. <laughs> Give you a look at this side. Oh you know what we'll do? Let's take a look at the elephant print on both of these sides. How can we do this? Oh fuck. Let's, let's zoom in right there. I mean, something just seems a little off, you know? And this is straight from Nike. This isn't from Joe Schmo who got the plug. This is from Nike. So, you know, this is the official tissue. I've seen a few pictures. People got the glue stain over there. That's not a good look because, you know, you got a little dark over there. And, and I think for the most part, for people that say, dude, you guys complain too much, some of you sneaker heads, sneaker dudes, sneaker addicts. I think that people that are consumers have the right to complain, you know? And also, for people that complain about me complaining, what do you want me to do? Just tell you the shoe is white with, you know, the elephant print and it's red and I show you on feet? Or, like, what do you want? Do you, don't you want to know, like, opinions and thoughts about the sneaker? I, mean, I would assume you guys are smart enough to know what the sneaker looks like. Right? I'm gonna get some real deal opinions. This is, you know, not no video sponsored by the brands or anything like that. This is me showing you the shoe and giving my honest opinion. Not hating for people that got that love. I wish that Jordan brand had love for me. But they don't love me for some reason. It's okay though. It's okay. I kind of don't mind that. At least you guys, you know, I don't have to feel pressured at all. I can just say what I want. But all in all, at the end of the day, I think this is a great pair of kicks. I think they look amazing on feet. And my question to you guys is, do you think that that's a big deal or no? Do you think I should keep these or return them? Do you think this is a big deal? Like, let's say they give me 20% off on this shoe. Do you think I should just keep these shoes? It's not that big of a deal, Delzy? Or do you think that you should just return them? Because I want the shoe. I love the Nike on the back. Call me a hype beast. I don't care. You call me names. I love myself. <laughs> 
But let me know what you think of these shoes. Leave your comments. I have a lot of new material out, so please catch up on it. If you're bored, go to the main page. Or even if you're not bored, if you're just entertained and you want to watch more, please go to the main page. And also, please hit that thumbs up button. It helps my channel so, so much. Subscribe if you're new. And hit that bell next to the subscribe button so YouTube tells you when I put out a new video. Because pressing the subscribe button is not enough. You have to actually hit a bell now. You know, they, they try to... Stop people from watching my show, it almost seems like. I don't understand why, but it is what it is. My loyal viewers know what I'm talking about. It's kind of crazy. Leave your thoughts. I love reading them comments, and everyone loves reading the comments. Everyone be great out there. I'm going to have a review on a bunch of other sneakers really soon. I got tons of shoes that should be like hitting my doorstep today and tomorrow, so it's going to be really exciting. And that's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. We out.